So this next feature is brand new in ProPresenter 4 and we're really excited about it. And it solves this need or desire to have a means of messaging or sending information to the people that are actually on the stage, whether it be a choir or a worship leader or a speaker, without inter interfering with the experience that your audience is seeing. And so this function is called our stage display function. And we can access and see how the stage display works by going under the preferences menu under I'm sorry the preferences option under ProPresenter <clears throat> and I'm just going to hit configure uh, our stage display and this stage display is basically uh, I have a lot of different boxes and, and I can create my own layout to display information to the people that are on the stage this could be a plasma or an LCD display that's sitting on the stage or any, um, any type of projector that might be shown at the back of the room. My options for what I can show on the stage display are the current slide, that is to say the slide that is presently on the screen, whatever the next slide is, which would be whatever the, uh, the, the next slide in my presentation might actually be, uh, the current slide notes. I can actually add notes to any individual slide within ProPresenter within the editor, and so this allows me to say something like, uh, at the end of the song, please um, prompt a meet and greet or something like that. Next slide notes, um, a message. This is a stage display announcement that I might want to send to the person that's on the stage. I also have all the different clocks that I have available uh, within the ProPresenter interface, um, available within the stage display itself. And then I have the option to show a border and label. And so my configuration of this actually happens on the operator display and the, the manipulations that I make to the layout of this stage display will be made live to the operator display. Now, you can output uh, this stage display function um, through any kind of video hardware device that is accessible by the computer. So typically you would have your main DVI or VGA output um, sent to your projectors or to your video switcher <clears throat> this would be a secondary video output device for which you can use any kind of uh, USB to DVI or VGA adapter uh, for which we actually sell one on our store for under $100. So it's a great, inexpensive way to add this additional functionality to ProPresenter. So just the default layout has my current slide sitting here, my next slide sitting here, and I can move these around however I want to resize them however I want to. And right now I'm actually just showing a small version or a preview of what the actual uh, slide looks like. I have a time elapsed clock that grows as I grow this box. The current time. So you can lay this out however you want to. I'll just say done. And we'll see what this looks like. I'm actually going to start this song. So we're playing Mighty Fortress is Our God. This is what my stage display looks like. So I have the first slide here, and it doesn't show any kind of video background or anything like that. It's merely the, the slide elements. And then this is what my next slide looks like. And as I use the arrow keys to go through the song, you see that these slides are changing. I have my clock up here, uh, time elapsed, or any countdown clocks that I might want to show are also available. But oftentimes what I want to do um, if I'm doing a lot of styling for the text that's actually on the slide, I want to make this as easy as possible for the people that are on the stage to read it. And so we have this wonderful option that allows me to just, to, to just display the text of the given slide. So when I turn on this text only option, I can specify a size. So for this I'll make it 100 points. And this is going to be the maximum size that this text will display at. I can do the same thing for the message, so I'll say 100 points here. So now that I'm done, this is what my stage display looks like. So this text is very large and readable. It's just white text on a black background. Um, really pops out of that, that stage display. And then I was mentioning this stage message announcement function. This is actually available under my action, or I'm sorry, my view menu. I can say stage display message, and I'll say please move to center of the rows. And when I say send note, this is what my stage display shows. It flashes green and then shows this message in this box. 
So again, the stage display is a very powerful function. It doesn't require any additional use or any additional configuration by the operator. Uh, all these kinds of things happen uh, without the operator even knowing that they're, that they're happening, which is a, a great and wonderful thing indeed. So again, very powerful new function of ProPresenter 4.0.